night and like I think the tale of that set was just that Big King could not get a single edge guard opportunity on a character with a you know exploitable recovery. Yeah. I mean we can say exploitable as much as we can, but really you don't want to go out there and then you're eating twenty five percent yeah of, like two hits. You know, when you wear a fatal fury hat, you know how to like mix up your recovery with this character. Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean you got it. Like that's that's where your weakest point is and yeah. Fox showed that he's fine being off stage. Especially against one of the char character with the best aerial drop, just going second best. Yoshi. Yoshi cheats even more. Oh god. Yeah you're right. I can't talk about Yoshi. I didn't even fight. I didn't even fight Zopal today. Why am I? This is not bad. Yeah, a... just puff things indeed. I mean, you you live by the puff, you die by the puff. You kill them at forty with the rest, and then sometimes you die. At he did point. get an early rest kill. Like he might not have got an edge guard, but he got an early rest kill. Right now we're having Orex and Superhead. Is it Superhead, Sleepyhead, Super Davy? <laughs> it's Superhead. It's Superhead? Okay. Whenever he, whenever he decides, he's like, you know, he just changes his name whenever he wants. Because he's that cool. He's that cool. Well, I mean, I think both are good tags, you know? You definitely remember them. Maybe not as iconic as Thrillho. So true. We can't all have great tags. <laughs> Some of them have to be like, you know. But hey, would you rather have a great tag or be a great player? Because you can be both, like me. All right. Oh, so right now, we're oh my God. Superhead scored zero zero. Now speaking of, we were talking about Cheeks hot streak. Orax actually had a hot streak of his own last week. Yeah, and I he think... was telling me about this. Like he's like, yeah, I'll just be going hot, and then you know, all of a sudden he get. Are you saying like he's had like a shift in mindset, especially against? The prevalent zoners of DFW. Yeah. Like he's just feeling more and more confident in his character. It's hard out here for a princess. It's hard out here for a princess. But Orc should be fine. Superhead's been kind of lacking here and there recently in results, but I mean, you do not sleep on him whatsoever. Yeah. Like, you're getting up to, you're getting up air killed by Pyra. That she comes out immediately. And this is also, you know, an, a new like um, Pyra Mithra after the nerfs. Yeah, very minor nerfs. I yeah, mean, you know, a little slap on the wrist, like you know. Min Min and you know Pyra Mithra. They're they're still, I think they're still both really good characters. Yeah. Uh, D DLC pass is too crap. It is so good. No, Mc Benedict is a terrible tag. Yeah, <laughs> and you don't even play Smash anymore. Yeah, you're retired. But you are a good Ray player at DBZ. Um Superhead taking the first stop. Yeah, let's talk about the players on the screen, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Not some guy who doesn't even play this game anymore. Yeah, why is he even here? Who let, who let the old man have a cell phone? <laughs> so yeah, we're actually you know, down quite a bit and Superhead putting on this pressure. Yeah, I mean, Mithra's really good at that. She's just gonna go in your face, get her 20, 25, Yeah, you can minutes. press buttons with this character. Oh man, forward smash almost coming out. This why not? Let it rip. I mean, you're ahead of a stock. You got a lead, you know? Okay. <laughs> but hey, sometimes you like let it rip so hard you get hit with the booty from behind. Yeah, and that booty is strong. This girl squats, okay? Yeah, she's deadlifting so hard. <laughs> um, yeah, so Superhead's is doing really well right now. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you fine? All right, yeah, back to the match. Orex kind of like bringing this back here after the amazing start by Superhead. He's getting hit with that random. Um. All right. You know that that might have worked. Yeah, it yeah. might be a thing. But... It might be a thing, but I I don't know about that option right there. Yeah, definitely not working on Orex. He was able to get out of that uh, whole whole instance. It was really yeah. weird. I've never seen that. Before. You could be off stage. A player like Orax, I feel like he's not gonna fall for that. Yeah. But hey, he's gonna fall for this right here, almost doing it. He's gonna float back. Oh man. wow, such great drift. It reminds me of when I'm recovering. Okay, Shut up. <laughs> You're nowhere near as graceful as Orax. <laughs> he's oh. an umbrella. And Horix holding on to this stock with his dear life. Like, like this is not. This is game one, by the way. It's not game two. Yeah, I mean. Definitely has time to react. Okay, that would have done it. Now, like, Davey is kind of like swinging right here. Wants to end the stock. 
Down throw not gonna take it off the top at Orex. You know what that's what he's known for, right? His amazing defense. I mean this this princess is living. Oh I was about to say that you really Oh my god, did that have you ever seen Toad Kill? He just did! I don't think I've ever seen a Toad kill like that. Like, that's I'll, a, I'll take the hit for you, my queen. That's a rare occurrence, you know? I'll take it for you, my queen! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, not getting into it. We're Toad fans here. Yeah. We love Captain Toad for Smash. Yeah. But yeah, Mr. Saturn now, and I, are you, um, what do you think of that decision right there? Just kind of just gets rid of Mr. Saturn, I, I, doesn't even hold it to threaten. Yeah, Oryx obviously knows something I don't. Like, they, a lot of the beach players, they don't like messing with that other type of stuff. I don't, they'll take a dot eyes up every yeah. day of the week, but... You know, they just like turnips, okay? They're vegetarians. Yeah. But Oryx looking kind of comfortable right now. Not too far in the lead, sure, but, I mean, to be able to live after getting, you know, your first stock taken so... Oh, yeah. Like, Superhead came out, like, swinging that first stock, and honestly, since then, Oryx has been in, like, complete control of this game. Yeah. You want Goku. Get off. Shut up, Big Team. Big actually hates Nintendo games. Yeah, I don't even know why he's here. But hey, these are Nintendo characters right here, right? Yeah, I don't like Power Method. <gasps> oh my god, that almost did it! Yeah, I mean, he's he's gotta go for it. You're at 150%. Yeah. Oryx is just gonna catch you. Rex being safe right here, not worried about this throw. I can see maybe a random up B just coming out of nowhere and just taking the set. And we might see like an aerial at this point. Okay, yeah, he's like, what are you doing? Don't see, go <laughs> Forward tilt. Maybe a falling up air. Oh. Oh man, this is so... Yeah, he's, he's holding shield. He's just like, all right, you're gonna throw it. Uh, that is an option. Yeah, we, and we it, saw that like four times that set, and nothing happened the first three times. But so it know, mattered. It mattered, and then he got it. Super and then, now we see why he did it. Like it was catch, it caught, it would caught, catch up B. It would like even with their parasol. Parasol is a really good move of like, I try to dare it all the time with Gander. That's a thing. It's not even a thing. Like, no, you gotta hit her. You can't hit her invincible umbrella. I know, but he apparently can. Yeah, but I mean, that was like such a big hitbox, right? It's like, it's gonna cover so much. Mm -hmm. And hey, he pulled it out when he needed it. That was a really great play by uh, Superhead to steal out that game. Like, he had it at the beginning and then lost it towards the end, but was like, nah, I just played it really nice and slow with Pyra. Took it. Looks like the score was right. Yeah, okay, maybe he shouldn't have changed it. Maybe he shouldn't have, but yeah. Um, kind of a similar start to the first game right here. Super had just putting so much pressure on with Mithra. Of course, this is Smash Ultimate, and he couldn't punish that uh, a normal charge beat or whatever that move was. Or that normal... With punishing in my game. <laughs> yeah, on DLC Pass 2. Hey. Right there, though. Okay. Punish is a bad option. Yeah. Good stuff from Orex. Oh! God, that deer is so scary. Yeah, I, I wonder why he like adjusted himself so much for that. So maybe he's expecting like a bad air dodge or something. Yeah. But definitely seems like he could have got something else instead of going for that. Oh, oh this is a classic, fair, yeah. classic Oryx fair. At the ledge, yeah. you know, Oryx fair. Why not? I've been hit by it so many times, it's just ingrained in my head at this point. It's just like PTSD. But I mean, that's how it starts, you know. Maybe Superhead just takes it real nice and slow. Yeah. Oh, he's going for that again. Yeah. This oh. time gets punished, but hey, the parasol brings him back to stage. And yeah, what's 12% for like an edge guard, you know? Right? Like, if you're like, if you're gonna take a stock off it, okay, that, that F tilt right there? Yeah. I'm like, which one of Pyra's moves kills? Oh, they oh. all do. You could have just said, he hit. Her, yeah, she's kind of like Ness or Zelda, where like a lot of her moves like just have ridiculous kill power. Yeah, and you're like, forward tilt? <laughs> you know, like... Her up tilt kills too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, with Pyra, anything, anything works. Yeah. Pyra, all your moves kill. Mithra, you know, all your moves are like... Safe. Not really. Yeah. But sometimes it feels like that when you play someone like 
superhead who's just like so aggressive and in your face and you feel like you can't do anything. It's so interesting though because a lot of his stock's been taken by Pyro and like Mithra does her job a little bit. Yeah. But, like that's not where he's getting all of his violence. <laughs> So the, the bad character, quote unquote, comes out. As a, as a big Superhead fan, who do you think he's better with? Mithra or Pyro? I mean, that Pyro comes out right when he needs to secure, like, yeah. it, like ledge trap and all that. So, I don't know. So I definitely feel like we see the, the Pokemon trainer, you know, the experience. And he really uses them, like, both pretty well and knows when to switch. Yeah. That really... Oh! That like, really yeah. does everything. It does. Him. Oh my god. Oh, it's man. such a good move. Punish him in our game? Foresight. What? No, he can't punish that unless he's Sonic. Don't bring Sonic against him. <laughs> he didn't do anything. It's in the game. That's too much. Well, yeah, coming in. That booty coming in clutch. Booty coming in clutch, but is it going to be enough? Yeah, I don't know. Right now, it's just looking like a repeat of the first talk where... Superhead just builds that advantage, switches the fire up, closes it out. But hey, he's brought it back here. It's a relatively even game. I say that as Superhead gets a big, big advantage to right here. Oh, hey. Why not? Bad option, but doesn't get punished for it. So is it really a bad option? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, here comes Pyro. Oh, so scary. Anything can kill right now, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, that's the switch. Falling up there? Oh, oh. going for a dash attack. Another kill option. Oryx Smart went straight to the ledge, does not want to mess with Pyra in the air. You can tell he's scared right yeah, now. I he's mean, like really, really scared about oh. what to do in what situation. Oh, he's got to take advantage of this. He's got to go in. Oh, this is it. Oryx. Oh my god, Toad not coming in clutch. Like, Oh, anything can take it right now. I'm nearly no. Oh, Davey swinging. Oh man, such great. Bro, wow, that almost cost him bad DI. Going oh. to the same option he did the finish game oh, one. Oh, yeah. But, oh, I thought he was going to live. But, yeah, so we saw game one end with that same option. And this time, Orax was like, I'm expecting it. I know what you're going to do. And you're going to up you back to stage. And then I'm going to hit you with the booty. And he did the right thing. He waited it out. And he's like, let me do my best. What I do at the, at the ledge. Orax's ledge play is always on point. Yeah. And it had to be on that point to take this whole, that game. It was, like, and honestly, like, I felt like Superhead was outplaying him for most of that game. Yeah. But right when Oryx had that advantage, he's like, yeah, he took, that's he it. Took I gotta so, take the game right now. Yeah, not, he took advantage of it. Not anything, anytime later, because all it takes is any other move. Oh, we're gonna see a little Daisy combo here. Some solid damage, you know, getting 50%. And this is actually the first game where we've seen um, Oryx start off the lead. But hey, Superhead brings it right back and takes it himself. Yeah, you definitely can't count out Pyramithra, especially Superhead's Pyramithra. Yeah, just... Oh, okay. Oh. Does not get the down air and up smash confirmed. Fair? I, I, I thought that was it. Like, that yeah, was I, feel like it, I feel like it doesn't work as often as, like, we get hit by it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like 9 times out of 10, we're dying to that. <laughs> yeah, but not so like Orex. But also, maybe because Peach is a little light, so maybe the percentage are a little That's bit weird. different. She's really close. So, funny enough, that was... Hey, back are gonna do it. We are going back to Mithra. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even, even, I was about to say, like, even if he puts on some damage, Oryx should steal the stock pretty quickly. Yeah. Or just, or right back. It's very back and forth this whole set. I mean, you think one person has the advantage, and then the next thing you know, the other person takes the stock. I mean, that's what you want to see, right? Yeah. Just to, like, I was going to say princesses, but I'm like, is, is she a princess? I don't know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm never playing that game. <laughs> that's what I'm about to I've never played a Xenoblade game. I've never played a JRPG. I don't care where she's from. Marks with the, the good tomahawk grab right there. I think she's a sword or something. <laughs> Let's not get into it. Let's get back to the match right here. Yeah. Catching these turnips, but it doesn't matter. He's like, hey, you can catch my vegetable, but hey, I'm going to smack you anyway. <laughs> I think this is the first time Oryx actually has a lead. Oh. 
Oh my god. So much damage. As I say that. Oh my Big god, this out. this last stock is looking so bad for Sleepyhead. Man, Oryx and the power of RNG. Like beating Oryx on its own is hard. Wow. Oh my god. Like that was like sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, I mean like beating Oryx on its own is hard. Yeah. Throwing a little RNG in his way. Ah, man, it's tough. God, really nice empty hop jump right there. Now it has an ledge. What's it gonna be? All right, Superhead gets back. Yeah. I mean, you know, Orcs is just gonna do those safe bears. Why not? You're at 20%. If it hits, it kills. It's not. Toad! Oh my god, did you see him? Did you see the little push? My man, Toad? We love Toad. He's awesome. I love Toad. He's he so cute. 